Hello everyone, I'm Victor Palma, Cloud Engineer at Open Nebula. Thank you very much for being here and joining us. It's a really a pleasure to be at this year DevBox Pro edition sharing this presentation with all of you. This session will introduce a new experimental AI ops framework developed in Open Nebula and its Prometheus integration for the evaluation of AI algorithms in order to provide intelligent workload forecasting and infrastructure orchestrations, capabilities to automate and optimize the provisioning and deployment of edge cloud nodes. So let us start with the, with the presentation. So first, let me introduce myself again. I'm Victor Palma, Cloud Engineer at Open Nebula. I come from Madrid and I've been working for Open Nebula for almost three years, developing and innovating in the cloud edge world. Well, well, let's move on from the introduction and let's start with some context. So first, what is observability? Well, I guess it's not a strange concept for most of you. It's nothing more than the ability to understand and analyze the inner workings of a system by collecting and analyzing relevant information. Okay, so, or in other words, it's just transforming a data input into information, into something that can be useful for us. So we can have a lot of numbers of our data, but if we are not able to give the, them a meaning, they are of no use to us. So once we have the information, understanding and analyzing, it's fundamental. This is observability. Thanks to observability, we can detect anomalies, patterns, or potential risk. We can identify performance improvements or observability. Can we help us in a decision making? As the say saying goes, information is power. So we need to um, we need to add the the observability uh, issue to to our to our infrastructure. So, well, let's talk now about AI. In the end, that is what we want to address in this session. Is AI useful for observability without a doubt? Yes, totally. It's true that nowadays we want to use AI in everything. Well, you know, uh, marketing guys <laughs> are the main responsible for that, but well, Observability, it's a totally natural process for, for the AI. So thanks to AI uh, and data processing algorithm, we get many advantages such as um, enhancing data analysis, automated anomaly detection, dynamic scaling, or predictive analysis. It opens up a world of possibilities. However, while this all sounds good, there are a number of challenges and concerns that we need to be aware of. First, uh, there are concerns with third-party solutions. So many organizations currently entrust sensitive data to external observability providers, raising concerns about data ownership and privacy. The information and the data is on the provider servers. So these in certain uh, situations can be a, a risk. So uh, I propose a solution the uh, following an open source um, philosophy. So providing transparency, allowing organizations to scrutinize code, address customization needs, and maintain control over the data. Thanks to open source, we can have the control of the code, and the data. So that allows to us to avoid the vendor locking risks. Vendor locking is just the, the lock that we have we, we, when we um, depend on, on a certain provider. So organizations might find themselves tied to a specific vendor, limiting flexibility and potentially increasing costs. It's not easy migrating between uh, providers. For example, if you want to move all your workload from AWS to G Cloud or to another cloud provi provider, each provider has different 
data models on uh, API. So it's a very difficult thing. So now what? How can we address the challenges we have with lines? The solution for this is there. One AI Ops Framework, the open source solution for a driving observability. The One AI Framework combines Open Nebula, a cloud infrastructure management platform, Prometheus and Grafana for infrastructure information monitoring and visualization tools, and a set of machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms to provide these eight driving observability frameworks. So let's take a step-by-step -step approach. First, what is Open Nebula? Open Nebula is a simple open source solution to build and manage enterprise clouds that combines existing virtualization technologies with advanced features for multi-tenancy, automatic provision and elasticity in order to offer on-demand virtualized service and applications. So Open Nebula use the concept of hybrid cloud that means the combination of on-premise data centers, public cloud, and even nodes on the edge in order to operate with the different nodes that we have. So all of them manage it from the same platform, that is Open Nebula. Here we can see some of the possibilities we have with Open Nebula. Thanks to Open Nebula, you can use the same interface to control all network and storage resources shared between different hypervisors such as Beamware, KVM, Elixir, or even Firecracker. Open Nebula has several integrations that, that facilitate the creation of automated workloads and applications such as Terraform, Kubernetes, Ansible, Docker, or custom APIs. Open Nebula also has its own web portal that we called the uh, Sunstone. Which, with which you can interact with the Open Nebula core in a simple and convenient way. Other important features that to highlight will be multi-tenancy, so different users with can access to different resources, self-service, where every user can deploy a VM for itself, elasticity for multi-VM services, the possibility to create multi-tier apps, high ability to VMs and Open Nebula instance, the option to create a federated solution, the ability to provision resources on the edge automatically, multi-cloud management, and the possibility to combine VMs and container workload within the same platform. Speaking of multi-cloud, as I said before, Open Nebula allows you to manage any infrastructure with automatic provision of resources from cloud providers such as Equinis, AWS, or gCloud, all of them with a uniform management with the homogeneous layer for user and cloud administrators. Over this management platform, we can deploy any applications such as PMs, multi-PM services, containers, or even Kubernetes clusters on a shared environment, managing all of them from the same portal. Very handy. Now that we have seen what Open Nebula is, let's move on to the next important part of One AI Ops, Prometheus. Prometheus is also an open source platform used for event monitoring and alerting. It records metrics in a time series database built using HTTPI pool model with flexible queries and real-time alerting. Open Nebula has a specific integration for Prometheus that allows to integrate the metrics of virtual machines and containers in Prometheus through its own exporters. For this, Open Nebula implements inside the host the, the nodes own exporter offer, offered by Prometheus to export basic metrics of resource usage on the physical host, Open Nebula's own exporter to export metrics related to the virtual machines using the LitBird library. And finally, Open Nebula own monitoring system that export the data 
to the Open Nebula monitor located in the front. This is turn export all the collected data together with general usage information from the Open Nebula instance to Prometheus. This way, from Prometheus, we have a huge amount of information about the state of our cloud. But what can we do with all this information? So it's time to talk about the third and last part of one AI ops, which is obviously artificial intelligence. By adding AI to the formula, we can predict a lot of relevant information. We can predict through machine learning, the CPU, memory, and network traffic usage we may have in the future based on all past metrics. And then thanks to the implementation of decision algorithms, we can allocate resources based on the current context of our cloud. Also using the prediction calculated through the machine learning algorithms as a guide for the deployment. So as a result, we obtain the architecture that you can see in this slide. One AI ops is based, as we have said before, on artificial intelligence algorithms implemented on the Open Nebula architecture using Prometheus for data extraction. So it's an architecture that it's currently still on the development, so it's still subject to, to changes. However, we can already see here some of the main components that we say before as the op current Open Nebula architecture with the monitoring system, the infrastructure manager, the physical infrastructure manager, all the VMs, containers, um, all the type of resources that we can manage as Open Nebula, like on-premise resources, public resources, or edge resources. On top of, the, of that, we have the new one AI ops architecture layer with a, a database with all the historical traces and logs of, from our, our cloud, a prediction and anomaly detection module that is on charge of uh, analyze all the information, the all the information that we have in the database, and some uh, modules related to, <coughs> sorry, to the elasticity managers, the virtual infrastructure orchestrator, and the physical infrastructure orchestrator. So, thanks to these parts of the of the schema, we can. Um, allocate and optimize resources in our cloud. Uh, of course, we also have a reporting and alert module in order to create alert based on certain rules. It's, uh, it's based on the Prometheus alert system, so it's, it's more or less is going to be the same for, for Open Nebula. So thanks to when AI ops and the architecture thing above, we have CPU usage prediction for individual VM CPU prediction per hour, the general CPU usage, and we also have accuracy. That means the accuracy between the last day real usage and the prediction for the last day generated by the tool. We can also optimize with one AI ops, the VM allocation, consulting suggestion per each VM based on some algorithms such load balancing to balance the workload in our cloud, reducing the migrations in order to reduce, well, the migration in the optimization process or the resource contention algorithm in order to join all the VMs in a few hosts and save resources. Very useful for on-premise uh, infrastructures. So here we can see the main dashboard in Grafana with all the metrics exported by Prometheus. Uh, we have a lot of interesting information such as graphs with the memory, CPU, and storage usage of the host, an overview of the status of our cloud with all the resources deployed, as well as the status of our build our machines and host. One AI ops also has other dashboards like the following one, where we can see all the results of the predictions made. We can consult the CPU usage prediction 
for each host, which allows us to get an idea about the use of our infra in the next hours. So when IOPS also offers an average usage over our entire cloud, as well as an accuracy percentage that allow us to, to check the veracity of, of the prediction. So in this case, we can see that it's a very good value. And below, we can see the migrations that the tool suggests for a core optimization algorithm in this case. This way, we can take better advantage of our cloud resources, as I said before, very handy to on-premise infrastructures. So here, finally, uh, we can see a prototype of the one AI ops implementation. We we use the Open Nebula and LeadVid exporter to provide general information about the status of the Open Nebula and VMs running on each host. Then we use the one AI ops component in order to optimize the placement of our VMs based on the usage, on the usage and the data collected. And then once Prometheus has all the metrics collected, we can check all the information using the Grafana dashboards. So since it's a prototype, no automatic migration action are performed here. This is only limited to suggestions for the cloud administrator. However, according to the results of our labs, the recommendations are, are quite good and help greatly to optimize the cloud. So, what are the next steps? First of all, we will implement the PIO operations in order to apply the suggestion automatically. Since, as I said before, currently one AI ops only shows migration suggestions since it's still in the development stage. Once this step is done, uh, the next step will be include AI ops as part of the Open Nebula software distribution, installing it within the same package. Finally, we also hope to expand the functionality to support anomaly detections, allocation based on memory prediction, allocation based on network traffic, and alerts and warnings based on these metrics and detections. One AI Ops is an um, open source so you can contribute to the project or check the source code in this repository that you can see here. And speaking of contributing, I would also like to mention the Open Nebula Forum, where you can collaborate, discuss, and help other Open Nebula users to get the best out of their clouds. I really recommend it. You will also have the opportunity to learn a lot about the platform here a part of course from the official Open Nebula documentation. So as a closing slide, I would like to comment that this project is being found by the European Union project named Cognit, a cognitive server framework for the Cloud Edge continuum. One AI ops together with Open Nebula will be used as fundamental pillars within this project for the deployment and optimization of resources in the Cloud Edge continuum. So, oh, sorry. So, well, that's all. I hope this presentation has been of interest to you. I hope to be able to, to share more news about Quang AIOps in the future. So stay tuned to the official Open Nebula's information channels like the forum, Twitter, and so on for updates. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope to see you the next time. So I think that now we can, let's move on to, to the Q&A section. So in case you have any questions, we can see now.
So no questions. This is all we got, dreaming about a revolution in our minds This is all we got Lock me out of this life institution I am angry and I own illusions Yes, I hate but it's not a solution Try my best, buddy, I'm just a human Oh, we don't need to say we're sorry